Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Michael Mail with Affiliate Rookie, where I show you great ideas and great tools to grow your online business or to even start one. So today's platform we're gonna be looking at is called Connexit. This platform will allow you to integrate other platforms together, okay? So if you're looking for an alternative to Zapier or any other platform that does something like Zapier, then this platform might be for you. So in today's video, we're gonna look at some of the features and we're actually gonna do some testing and see how this platform stands out, okay? So if you like this video, hit thumbs up. And if you wanna see more content like this video, hit the subscribe button. So let's jump in and take a look at this platform, which is called Connexit. Okay, so we're logged onto the dashboard of Connexit, and this is what it looks like. It's going to give you some basic information and basic data. For instance, if you have any apps that are connected to another app in Connexit, it will show you what's active. And if you created um, the authorization, it will show you, if you have not connected, it will show you inactive. So for instance, I have this one, but I haven't connected to or integrated to another app. And it's also going to show you all the latest apps they have integrated to be able to use with other platforms. It will be up here. Okay. And of course they have the create, you can create the um, integration up here. So down here, it's going to give you a little bit of data on how many tasks that you have available and how many tasks you have used. And if you don't know what task is, a task is when you, for instance, use your um, form for say your web website form, People give you email and name, and then you want it to go to your autoresponse list. That is one task. So every time someone signs up for your list and it goes over to say you have your autoresponse is MailLite or MailChimp, and you want to put it in a specific list, that is one task used. Okay, so just let you know. A lot of people don't know what a task is. They just see that and they're like, what is that? And that's what a task is. So most of the platforms, if you had Zapier or any other one, that's what they're giving you is task. And that is specific amount of tasks you get a month. So for instance, this is a, I'm on the free plan here. I get a hundred tasks a month and I can use it up to a hundred times on different type of tasks. But remember, if you're a person who integrates a lot of platforms, you're going to want to get a bigger plan, which I'm going to show you how to get a really good deal on this platform. So anyway, so on the side here, you have your apps. So we're going to click on that. And this is where you have all of your integration. That they have it broken down to authorized apps, which is basically API codes you can use, and they have it broken down from webhooks. And this is very simple and easy. Now, a webhook is a way you can communicate with other apps, and it's been out for quite a while. But this platform, if you click on it, it will show you instructions on any of these webhooks on how to do everything step by step by step. So what you're doing is you're gonna basically authorize it first and then you can use it to how you want to use it and remember I'll, I'll show you in a second how that works but you got to make sure that when you authorize this look at the app and see if it's going to do what you want it to do and i'll show, like it's again i'll show you that in a second but this any of these webhooks is going to tell you exactly what to do to get it authorized okay and then here, are, these are mostly API codes. You can just click on and authorize them. Okay, very simple and easy. We'll show you that in a second. Okay, so then we have here, this is connect where you have all of your connections, your integrations really, to any app. So for instance, I created this one, but it's not integrated with anything. But if I had it integrated, it would show exactly what, it, what platform it's integrated with. Okay, and that's how it shows here. Here in histories, this shows you if it's been integrated successfully or if there's some kind of error. So this is where you can track your stuff. It's really good because simple fact is that if you have issues with your platform, you don't know, you can come in here once a day to make sure that everything is working. Because sometimes some platforms, it's not guaranteed that it's going to stay connected. Sometimes it, there's something that kicks it out and you don't even know about it. So maybe once a day you might want to go in here and look, okay? And then down here, they have um, your account information, of course. And then down here, there is help where they have a lot of information. They have some videos. They have basic tutorials that will teach you how to do everything step by step. Okay? So that way, they're not leaving you hanging. Okay? So the first thing we're going to do is, let me go back here. Sorry. The first thing we're going to do here is I'm going to show you how to authorize an app by using the API code, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna authorize MailLite and it's pop up and it's, this is what it says, you need, okay? Simple as that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy, I'm gonna copy my AP code real quick here. 
and we're going to paste this in here and then we're going to authorize it and then what it's going to say is it's successfully authorized and it's going to put it in your authorized list up here okay simple as that not very hard okay so now i'm going to show you how to do um, a webhook so what you're going to do is you go here to create and then what you're going to do is you're going to drag in what element that you want to use or app for your webhook so what we're going to do is we're going to actually use um lead cart because lead cart has a webhook so what you do again i said before is you have to choose what you want it to do what the trigger to be so for instance um we have order complete and we have this one so we're going to do order complete and then what you're going to do is for the webhook URL, this is what you're going to copy, okay? So then we're going to log into my lead page, and then we're going to go into um, the funnel section here, and then we're going to do the rules. And this is instruction. Now, these instructions are exactly what it told me to do earlier. So what I'm going to do is that, add funnel rule. I'm going to click on here, and then I'm going to choose what I wanted to do. So I wanted to do order complete, and then I want to do add a trigger to the group. And then what I want to do is go down here to webhook. And then I paste my webhook, which I got from the platform connect and then put it here. Now I can give it a name or whatever, but I really don't want to do all that. We're not going to do all that. So what you want to do is after you put your webhook, most platforms will have where you can test it and you do that and it says successful. And then what you do is you go back to connect and then you hit capture webhook response. Give it a few seconds. It takes a little bit for it to connect. And then once it does that, it will open up another screen to give you some more data. So while that's doing again, I like to do is redo this just to make sure that it's working. And then I go back over here to see if that, if I selected the right one. And I may have selected the wrong one. Let's give it a second. Nope, I, I selected the right one. Okay, so once it's done and connected, it says successful data received from um, Lee Cart. So when you tested it here, it sent the data to connect this. Okay, so what you now, this is how you do a webhook. This is how you activate a webhook. Now, I'm gonna show you quickly how to use your um, connect two apps together. So we're gonna connect my lead cart to, from a, um, sorry, my lead cart to my auto response, okay? So what you do is you go here and you see what it wanted to do. So I wanted to create, every time somebody um, uses a lead cart, signs up or anything, I want to have their email sent to my list. Okay, so you do that and it opens up another window. Now, so let me move this up a little bit so you can see it. Okay. And then it has the email, it has a name and, and all that. So on here, you have to hit the column down for this particular um, app. You have to hit the column down to open it up. And then it gives the email. So what I wanted to do is I want every time somebody signs up for or purchase something on Lee Cart, I want to get their email sent to a list. So what you do is just basically drag it and drop it in here. Oops, sorry go and then boom so this email will go here when they sign up here and then I want their name so we're gonna put their first name in here we're gonna do the same thing and and, and there you go so that's how you connect very simple and easy now I uh, um, I have not created a list in in um oops sorry I have not created a list inside mail light so we're not gonna test it but this is how you simply would go in here and you would test this out to connecting everything. You just basically drag and drop, drag and drop. You know how I love my drag and drop. And that simple as fact is that. As long as you, these two are connected, um, I'm sorry, authorized, you can connect them. And it tells you what it can be done. And that's how you do it. So all you do is basically, when you finish connecting everything, you hit save, hit okay. And then it's here, it will be right here. And it shows that it's, it's connected. Now, you can go back in here and you can see, you can edit, you can turn it on. Just move it over and it's active okay and or you can go back and hit publish whatever you want to do but this is another way you can actually publish it okay and that's a simple basic way of using this platform there's not a lot of crazy features for this platform they make it very simple and easy very simple and easy okay to use this platform they don't make it very difficult for you to do it okay so now what i want to do is show you the special that's going on they have a special going on with app sooner right now where you can get this platform for $99 lifetime deal. Let me slow down here quickly. And with this platform, you're getting access to the pro version, which I'll show you in a second. This is their pro version, okay? So you get 15,000 
um, if you do this in this, you get 50, it's a pro version, you get the 15,000 tax. But they, what they did was for the lifetime deal, they changed it a little bit. So this is what you get in the pro. You get access to the pro. You get um, access. So you can stack up to um, quite a bit of codes. You can stack up to at least 10 codes, okay? So in the pro, the first for $99, you get 4,000 tasks a month. That's what you get, okay? And then all the features of pro. So the pro features you get internal to five minutes, meaning that it won't take only five minutes. You get unlimited connects, which is only um, which is good. You get multiple steps. You get um, form matters. You get filters. You get top tasks. You get schedules and delays. You get webhook apps. You get the premiere apps, and you get folders and templates. That's what comes with the pro. With the lifetime, now pro is $15 through their platform, but here, if you times 15 times, um, excuse me, 15 times 12, it's gonna be more than $99. So if you go with the $99, you get 4,000 apps a month. Now, yes, you get more You get more if you do $15 a month, but if you're not a person who's doing more than that, if you need more, just up it to 198. But again, this is lifetime deal. So they have $99 one-time payment, 198 if you wanna stack another code, and if you wanna stack up the 10 codes, you get up to um, nine, it's $990 and you get up to 40 uh, sub accounts as well. And the sub accounts, I think, start out here um, on tier number three, where uh, code number three, where you get a sub account. So you can add two team members on account. Okay. And then you have uh, more, you can add five, you can, and then the, uh, sorry, the sub accounts start out at tier number five. So that means you can add other people or you can actually have people use it and they get um, up to 30,000 um, sub, uh, sorry, 30,000 tasks. So if you are a person only using 5,000, you can probably sell or lease out the other five accounts, okay? That's up to you. I don't know exactly how that's gonna work. You have, if you decide, you have to play around with it. And if you do, let me know in the comments how that worked out, okay? So this is what you get for the lifetime deal. You get 4,000 tasks, for $99 one-time payment instead of paying $15 a month, okay? So again, this is for people who want to integrate and get away from or use an alternative for Zapier or other platforms, okay? So Connexus, I'm saying that correctly, <laughs> um, you will be able to do that. Now, again, this is a new platform, so it's not gonna have integrations for everything right away, but again, like I said, the roadmap, you can check out the roadmap and you can see what they're adding in. And you know I love my roadmap. So if you go here, you can see if, if it's worth buying for the $99 and see if it's worth it a long run in the future. For instance, if you want to see what they're working on, you can put um, separate the apps. You can see what they're doing. You know, they got drop CMR coming um, under review. It's all this in, under review. You can see all the apps. You can sort down the status of the apps and see what the, what's on review. You can do all that and see exactly if this is what you want. Again, this is a fairly new platform, and they're app, but they're adding apps all the time to integrate with other apps. Okay, so just FYI. And again, you know how I love my roadmap. So if they have a roadmap and they have a lot of data for their roadmap, that means this platform is planning to blow up and be around forever. Okay, so if you really want to grab this deal, there'll be a link at the bottom of this video. And FYI, I am affiliated with AppSuno. So anything you purchase I, using my link, I will get a small commission and that will help my channel grow. Okay, so this is Michael Mail with Affiliate Rookie. And if you like this video, hit thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this video, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching my video on Connected Connects review of the features and how to do a little bit of it and i will see you on the next video and you have a great day bye